Hi, welcome along to another video. Links are in the information section of this video. I've been going through the archives, so we take a trip down recent memory lane from around five years ago, 2016. So we're starting Cyprus, February 2016. And during this time, the term chemtrails was used a lot more. Minister pledges probe into chemtrails. Agriculture and Environment Minister has pledged that the government will look into the alleged spraying of chemtrails in Cypriot skies, following demands by concerned citizen activist groups and farmers. The matter of suspicious aerial spraying, believed by some to be chemtrails, was discussed on Wednesday at the House Environment Committee. Speaking to the media later, the Green MP who tabled the issue said they were pleased with the minister's commitment to investigate. Perdigis said he hoped this time a proper probe would be done with the participation of government departments as well as experts from universities here in Cyprus and abroad. Assuming chemtrails were proved, he added, they expected the government to take the necessary action to put a stop to it. A previous investigation back in 2010 by government departments analysing air samples turned out to be a whitewash, the MP recalled. There is strong reason to believe that the aerial spraying is conducted by aircraft making use of the Sovereign Bases Area SBAs, Perdicus added. He said the spraying tended to cease whenever there was an organised public reaction. The Greens think the spraying is likely intended to alter atmospheric climatic conditions, also known as geoengineering. It is thought that the aircraft operating out of the SBAs are spraying particulates which affect the weather, preventing the formation of clouds so as to facilitate visibility for bombing sorties en route to Syria. He said also he has asked the Foreign Minister to contact the SBA administration and to investigate the whole matter. Asked by the Mail for a comment, the SBA spokesperson said the British bases would like to make it clear that no such experiments take place by any aircraft operating out of RAF at Crotiri. General Secretary of the Farmers Union told reporters we are greatly concerned having lately observed extreme weather conditions such as today's temperatures. Some two weeks ago, the Greens again raised the issue of suspicious spraying after they said hundreds of worried residents had contacted the party's offices across the island to complain about what they believe are chemtrails. And then in July 2016, July the 26th, Ministry report rules out the presence of chemtrails. A report ordered by the Agriculture Ministry has found that tracks observed in skies over Cyprus are due to normal vapour trails from aircraft, aircraft and not to chemtrails, but critics aren't convinced. And you can imagine what the rest of it is like. So in February 2016, the same accusations appeared in the UK's Daily Mail and the same denials appeared. Sweden, July 2015. In a Swedish newspaper, it covered a story also from the Green Party, the Green Party's group leader, reacted to a picture in the paper that according to the caption depicted aircraft exhaust gases or condensation. Instead, she believes it is a case of viruses and heavy metals spread with the intention of controlling the weather. So that's just an online translation. But not only do you have the Cyprus Green Party speaking out in 2016 and also 2010, in 2015 you've got the Swedish Green Party Remember Scopex has just been cancelled in northern Sweden. Celebrities. Via the activist post, growing list of celebrities speaking out about chemtrails geoengineering. So in the UK, Sunday Express, Hollywood hardman Chuck Norris comes out as chemtrail global warming conspiracy theorist. On the WND website, you'll find the article called Sky Criminals by Chuck Norris. And that's from April the 24th, 2016. Vin Diesel is another one. He knows what's going on, doesn't he? Kylie Jenner isn't the only celebrity who believes in chemtrails. That's in the New York News and Politics section. Spain and the Costas. 
Costa News. Police investigate cloud seeding claims. This is from February the 18th, 2016. The question of whether private companies are cloud seeding to prevent rainfall in the province is being investigated by the Garda Civil. The provincial head of the Guardia Civil met last week with representatives of Avial, the association fighting to prevent cloud seeding, who put their claims to him. Colonel Jimenez said it was a productive and interesting meeting and urged anyone with evidence to contact his force. He added that since last year a police protocol has been in place to detect and investigate any such claim. So that since 2015 there is a police protocol in place for anyone that wishes to report overhead spraying. Any suspicious aviation activity should be announced to police hotline 062 or denounced as they say july 2016 in russia's sputnik indian government says u.s causing global warming with weaponized antenna network and just in the first line there you can see harp a controversial u.s armed forces program this made me laugh when i saw this article new delhi India has cautioned that the controversial high frequency active rural research program HARP developed by the US could be causing global warming. The Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change said the US had to, has developed a type of weapon called HARP. HARP is an advanced model of a super powerful ionospheric heater which may cause the globe to warm and have a global warming effect. For those of you that don't know what you're looking at on the screen there now where you can see the coordinates as well that's the Indian harp facility and the coordinates are in the information section of this video so you can go and have a look for that yourself if it still exists there's a NASA document from 1974 monitor weather conditions for cloud seeding control there's an NOAA document on weather modification by aircraft October 1970 to Zimbabwe, January 2016. Zimbabwe begins cloud seeding to combat drought. Five days later, Meteorological Services Department repeats flash flood warning. So I hope you enjoyed that look at blasts from the past. Don't be fooled by what you're being told about the northwest of America and Canadian situation. Also, again, the California fires. As you know, the truth of the matter is. 70 years of weather modification is starting to show its consequences. Wherever you are in the world, good luck, look after yourselves, and I'm 100% sure we will see each other next time.